Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. As always, my name is, of course, Lightliger, and today I have the great pleasure of doing a sponsored review on this Ethereum dApp called Multisend.org, which has been around since mid-2020. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use it basically and what it is. So as the name suggests, this is basically a tool or a dApp to send tokens into multiple addresses. Now, if you send in Ethereum one by one tokens to different addresses, this is going to be costing you a lot more gas than doing it on with a one single transaction or couple of multi cents, depending on the scale of the amount of addresses you're going to be including. And this is used by companies to pay salaries and also to do airdrops, for instance, and etc. And what I'm going to be doing here today is showing you the process on the Rinkeby test network. So you're going to be using this on the main net. You can use the Ethereum mainnet, but because the gas fees are so high, the process will be done on Rinkeby. It is pretty much same process, but obviously um, it's going to be happening on the test net itself. Now, they also have an affiliate program where you can add your Ethereum address and generate your own referral link, which will give you 0.02 Ethereum for each multisend that is done through the dApp. They also have an Ethereum uh, smart contract, which is open and transparent, so anybody can go through and verify it. They do not have an audit, but hopefully in the future, the owner might consider getting one because those always will build more trust up uh, with people, but being a transparent contract and being around already for eight months or so is already a good validation for any project, in my opinion, on Ethereum. Now, let's move back into the actual field and show how this is done. Um, so the first thing, and by the way, this comes in Russian and Chinese as well. So in case you want to, or Korean, uh, if English is not your forte, you can use those languages as well. So the first thing you're going to be doing is selecting your token. You're going to be airdropping and we're going to be using this test deck token known as token A and automatically we'll pull you the actual decimals. You can manually add all the lines of Ethereum and the token amounts. So how it's going to be working and looking is that you're going to be having the Ethereum address and then you add hyphen, no spaces, and then you're going to be adding the amount of tokens that are going to be each account basically receiving. So I'm going to be sending 25 token A's to these three addresses listed here. And there is also, if you're going to be uh, removing lines like this, it will show you that this is not actually going right and it's invalid. And obviously do this process on Rinkeby first. So you get it right and you get it to work. And then you're going to be doing it on mainnet. Always do testing first. They also have a pretty neat video here, which basically shows up the process. Also, as you can see here on the video, they have a pull request coming out soon. So the current one is obviously airdropping tokens to these addresses, but the pull means that you're going to be deploying the contract and people are going to be paying the gas fee in order to withdraw those funds from the actual contract. And that is very, you know, saves a lot more gas than the push one. So that's something going to be coming out in the future. And that's something you probably want to uh, look into. And there's obviously the Q&A section here uh, going into everything. And in case you want to know more about it or watch this video for another process. Now you're going to be doing the approve and send. Uh, sometimes this uh, next button is actually glitching. So I'm going to be trying to refresh the page and trying again. Uh, because it seems like a testnet problem, but um, we're going to be adding the transaction here and approve and send. And now, actually, I'm going to be seeing the uh, next button being available. Um, I don't know where this problem is coming from, but I'm going to be informing the developer about it. Then you're going to be hitting the next button. This is going to be make sure that all the token balances, the tokens you have on your wallet, and this is the amount of tokens in total you're going to be sending. So the first transaction will be for confirmation. And this will take, you know, give and take minutes, uh, etc. How does it matter? Because this is a confirmation transaction, I don't think there's a timed uh, thing. So you can put out the gas way a bit lower than usual. Um, obviously, that's one of the benefits when you're not doing like a fast transactions that you're going to be doing on Uniswap, for instance, where the gas has to be high in order to have the confirmation to actually go through. And basically, after this have gone through, it will allow us to basically see 
uh, the process going on. And now we can basically see the total number number of transactions needed, total number of addresses. So if you're going to be having more addresses, probably going to be breaking it down into multiple transactions so it doesn't fail. And this is my F balance um, on my wallet and the total number of TOKA tokens we're going to be sending. And this is the approximate cost of operation that it's going to be costing. Obviously, it's going to be high, guys, but it's going to be cheaper than sending transactions individually. Then clicking next, and we're going to be sending the transaction. I'm going to be putting out the gas price a bit higher, so the confirmation will go much faster. And the transaction has been now sent, and basically we can after see it on uh, the testnet transactions, and we're going to be able to see uh, the cost of the transaction very, very soon. Um, right now it's pending. Obviously the block times are what they are on Ethereum, so it may take some time until things get confirmed, but I will be keeping refreshing the... Okay, now it actually uh, disappeared from um, the actual thing, but... Um, um, and also now you can see, okay, finally we got the link going through and now it has been sent, the tokas have been sent into these three addresses which were listed on the CSV file that we provided earlier. And that's how easy it's basically to use it. Obviously, do your calculations before using all of these things because costs are what they are and, you know, just be, you know, sure with your money and have an understanding how much money it could be costing and obviously the time and everything. But if you have any questions, um, leave them down below in the comment section below. There's also a Telegram uh, group which you can join and there's a Reddit as well and LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitters where you can ask a lot of questions about everything regarding the project and problems and m multiple features which they may add in the future such as the uh, push um, tool. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys on the next video. Cheers.